G'day friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, I got November Collage Club 2024 here. It is a lovely fall day, I'm freezing actually, and I've got the window open. You might be able to hear the printer in the background, I got a new printer, Canon IP8720, I'll link it in the description, go check it out if you're in the market for a new printer. Super expensive, well it's not, it's like the most expensive you would get for just a regular home use kind of printer. Once you go up from there in the Canon series, I think you're getting into more like gallery pigment printing type stuff. This is still a dye-based printer, so still like regular home, but I think it was maybe 300 and something dollars. And yeah, it's really color accurate. And because it's new, it's fresh out the box and everything is just all lovely and aligned and registered. So the print quality is absolutely stunning on this month's Collage Club. Also, you might notice uh, it's that weird part of the year where we go from Halloween into Christmas and do like a severe left turn and I've got both in here because <laughs> there was obviously a lot of Halloween going on with the Hello Workshop. I have not put every single thing from the Hello Workshop in here. I did kind of rationalize to myself that I don't have to do 65 pages just to make sure it all gets in that we have next year as well for Halloween. And I gave so many extra sheets in October that I just don't even think anyone could get through them all. So I'll give you a bit of a, uh, a sampling of some of the stuff that we did in the last chunk of the Hello Workshop. And then the rest I'm sure will pop up throughout the year if it's relevant or I do some themed sheets or Halloween next time. So here is a bit of the kind of leftover Hello Workshop stuff. We've got some of these skulls from the Skull Factory. Uh, I've got the Franken references pencil and sharpener here. The rally stamp. Just a little section I coloured in. I only coloured in this, this little tab right through the middle. So I've just put that in there. Uh, the Nara children love her. The Mrs. Bolt, Bride of Frankenstein. If you look really closely, you can see she's actually colored in underneath the veil. So she's a tinted green. You can see her skin tone there is that lovely mint color. This is kind of a color I couldn't print on my last printer. I don't know if the gray ink tank has anything to do with that because this new printer has uh, the gray ink tank, but it's working super well. I'm loving it. I do have a question for you. I don't know if I can put a poll on YouTube videos. I'm gonna see if I can. If there's a poll, please vote. Even if you're not a part of Collage Club, it would just be interesting to know. Um, can you see everything is colored in here except for her? I don't know if that is something that is interesting for my Collage Club members or not. I have a lot of the time, and specifically when it came to this page, wondered whether I should just give you the sketches as they are, because a lot of the time that's what I do. I just give them to you as I've done them. Or if I should finish them up a little bit, you know, clean them up a little bit, color them in even. Um, but a lot of the time I think people are kind of theming to their spreads or they're trying to color match something or there's an opportunity for you to get your hands in there and kind of personalize a little bit. So I'm thinking half and half, like color the things I think maybe could do with some color, but then leave the rest kind of black and white. For this month, I've actually colored in kind of all of them except for this one. So, cause I, I did put color on her and I thought she was really plain. So look looked better in black and white, but all these Wednesday Adamses that I did for those that last extra mile video for the Hello Workshop, all of these Wednesdays have been colored in. And I just don't know if that's something that uh, you're interested in or not. I personally enjoy kind of having these workable because I do use them and kind of cut them up and rework them. And sometimes I'll print them on matte sticker paper so that I can recolor them in. Even on the gloss, I've colored things in before. And I don't know, I'm in two minds. This kind of makes it all finished and makes them look like, you know, ready to use stickers and images. But I also do like the personalization you get with the black and white. I'm not really interested in giving both. Uh, so that's probably not gonna be an option if there's a poll. <laughs> uh, my option would be don't color them in, leave them as is, color them in, or mixture of both. Color some, leave some. Let's see if I can poll that. If not, just leave your comment in the section, uh, in the comment section, I'd love to kind of just get a majority. Honestly, I'm probably going to go with whatever the majority is. So get your vote in or forever hold your peace. And that's it for the little extra Hello Workshop bits. I love these little Wednesday Adamses. These are super fun. I did like a split half coloring on this one, which I thought was really clever. And I was very proud of myself for that. I colored them all in on Procreate on the iPad. So what it is actually, they're my original sketches, but then on Procreate, I'll do a color layer underneath the sketch and I'll kind of color in behind the line work. Have you ever seen people painting glass and they've got the 
the, the, the line work first and then they paint over the top of it with that color and then they paint over the next one and then they put, it's kind of like that. It's coloring in reverse underneath the line work layer. So it's all my original sketch. It's just digitally colored. It's just easier to do it that way. Uh, I can get a lot more done a lot quicker and I can also make sure that the colors stay kind of consistent. Like specifically here, this sheet is all my cat's eye girls. This was uh, kind of a style I was developing that ended up being these Wednesday Adamses. Remember I was telling you about the K-pop girlies? Anyway. So this is Cat's Eye, and I sampled all of their colors from a piece of, I think it's from their album cover, so that I could keep it all very accurate. That is something I'm not quite good at doing, <laughs> just eyeballing it off the screen, and also grabbing, you know, my supplies to color them in. Sometimes I'll use Copic markers, but so many of them have dried up from, you know, just over the years using them, that I might not have the specific color. So sometimes if it's, if there is a specific color, I would prefer to do it on procreate for that reason as well. Uh, also, if I want to do a whole series of things, like if I want to do, you know, four different images of elves for Christmas, for instance, I think I did this last year, I can resample the colors and make them all look like they're a cohesive set. So those are my thoughts on coloring digitally. I do a very flat coloring. I don't like to do all the shading. I've tried that in the past. I'm not very good at that. Sometimes I'll do some texture, but I like the flat coloring. It kind of accentuates that the line work is still hand drawn. So that is, that's that. That's my thoughts on that. This, like I said, is my cat's eye page, my K-pop girls. And my particular faves are these, because obviously it's the lineup. And I love the girls. And love these three. And her. And her. I'm not huge on these, but <laughs> I drew them and I was like, well, someone might appreciate that style and might want to go with that. This is very, I don't know what's going on with her. Bratz dolly, but also... I, I did a whole like cross-eyed thing, not my fave. But anyway, this is not about putting all my faves in. Sometimes I just have to give you what I've done during the month because it's relevant. I show it. I always tell you, I'm, I put in here what I do in the month. And uh, sometimes even if I don't love it, some people have responded well to it. And I, I don't want to just, uh, you know, nix it because I might not be the biggest fan of it. That's not a good way to uh, share your work because there's I'm sure there's tons of things that I don't really like that other people might enjoy. Anyway, love this page. Let me know about the coloring. I do love seeing them all colored, but this would have essentially been a whole page of black and white except for her. And when I mean black and white, not even that. It's like gray pencil line work. These were just sketches. I even cleaned up the sketch so that it looked neater when I colored it. Like these had lines everywhere. You could see all of the working lines. So color, no color, half, half and half. Not even half, but both, you know what I mean? Anyway, here is a project I've been working on. Very excited for this. Here is a journal that I've just been plowing through. This is my Christmas deco journal. I've actually called it the gift wrap deco journal. If you've seen these before, you might recognize, um, not this, a deco journal. I did this for a vir virtual voyage eight, eight. I think it was eight. Uh, where I already had the de the journal pre-decorated. So it was a US letter size journal, which is this size, the size that the sheets are. And all of the pages were like black and white and mixed media and really, really fun. I think I even did a video of how I made that. So I've done one for uh, my family as well. I did like family journals that we all had for a trip that I took, but I wanted to do one for Christmas. I just hadn't been around getting around to it. And then I had too many ideas that really didn't uh, line up well with each other. And so then I started because I was like, you know what, sometimes you just got to get your hands moving and start. My first attempt was it was all going to be very Grinch themed. <laughs> it was going to look like a Dr. Seuss, uh, red, black and white and lots of sketchy lines. But I thought that was a little too niche, um, especially for what I wanted this year. I wanted lots of color and lots of random color palettes. So I started drawing this and I thought, wow, that's pretty. I like that. Kept all these colors out, pulled out a whole bunch of pencils that ended up becoming my color palette. And I thought, well, I'm just going to use pencils and maybe a few markers and just do the entire thing hand drawn. And over time, I realized what I was actually drawing was gift wrap, like wrapping paper designs, essentially. And I love that because wrapping paper is one of those things that in my Christmas journals, I always kind of struggle to get in. It's sometimes the pattern is really big and I only want just a little chunk of it or I put it down as a background page and I kind of put everything on top of it. So much in that same vein, um, I've decided that I would just draw all of these gift wrap designs with these beautiful color palettes and some of them are very simple like that. Hated that one. 
<laughs> some of them are very intricate like this and I've given them names as well They're, this one's Mediterranean citrus because it to me it looks like um Aperol and limoncello like citrus wedges and we had just come back from Italy when I was drawing a lot of these so this is Grinch fur this is Savannah's ballet class. A lot of them, I mean, I was just inspired by things that happened that day. My sister sent me pictures of Savannah at ballet and I thought, oh, that's so cute. I'm going to draw all these bows. So it's it's very personal. They're all hand-drawn. I've actually done them half size, but I scanned them at 600 DPI so that I could get tons of information and blow them up into US letter size pages. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm making a deco journal. So I'll let you know when that comes out. I'm currently working on it, but I have put together all of these pages that I've done, all the designs in the deco journal, uh, well, as they are now, I don't think I'm gonna change any, uh, but I put them all here on these US letter size sheets. So this page has 15 of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, yep, 15. And then this page has nine, and this page has two. And there are tons, tons and tons and tons. They are done on that cream paper, but my printer didn't print out the cream. Uh, I think it maybe was too soft of a yellow to really print. You can kind of see a little bit of it there, uh, but mostly it's like this kind of off-white in the background. Uh, it's all the patterns. Some of these are really small, like these I would only put like a little photo on here and kind of use them as little backing or maybe print it out on matte photo paper at 50% transparency and uh, use them as little note cards or something that I could journal over the top of. Even maybe put a transparent box over the top of them. Please don't feel like because I give you these as a file that you can't put them back into Photoshop and play with them. In fact, what I have done is I've taken this and I put it into Photoshop and blew it up into one US letter size sheet and it made this with it. This is a transparency. And this is what it looks like on white paper. And it's got that beautiful pencil texture. This is the front, that's the back. Gorgeous. And this is from the same file that I took this. So you don't need a more high resolution file. You can just blow it up to this size. I've got a few others actually that are fresh off the press. Let's see what's going on here. Oh no, are they sticking together? They're right out the printer, so maybe I shouldn't have printed them one after the other. Anyway, loved this one. This one reminds me of um, <laughs> nautical bauble. It's like a nautical look, but I was thinking of baubles as well because they're round, so I called it nautical baubicles. <laughs> Some of them got those ridiculous names. Uh, love it. Absolutely love it. I think this is going to be so beautiful to work on as tip-ins or, you know, just like beautiful page dividers or something. They're so pretty. It's just overhead transparency meant for inkjet printers. That bows looks so cute there. You get a really vibrant color printing them this way as well. I hope they printed on the right side. Why does that feel sticky? Something about that feels off. I'll figure it out. Maybe I put them in the wrong way. Or is that just what the ink feels like? I can't wipe it off. Maybe it's sticky because that's how the ink sticks to it. I'll be honest, this is the first day I've used these and they were printing out as I started filming. So I was like, well, jury's out on whether it'll work or not. Anyway, gorgeous. Love those. Uh, but essentially, I just wanted to let you know all of them are in here. So blow them up if you want. I used this section here and uh, put that on a US letter size page to get those four on the transparency. These two, I kind of went with my favorite designs. Like these were some of my faves. So that's why you get the big half page. They're US letter size, so they don't both fit a full frame on the sheet. So I've given you a little strip down here. You can make a little washi tape strip or just use those as even smaller squares. This uh, this is like Australian wattle. These were my most, my most unused colors when I pu pulled out my palette. These were, well, I don't want to say unused. They were the tallest pencils in the bunch. You might be able to see here. These pencils all sit like this. And I decided to pull out the pencils that were the tallest because I felt like if they're the tallest, then they were the least used pencils. Um, the kind of forgotten pencils, I felt sad for them. So anyway, I used that to make this beautiful stripe pattern. These remind me of my sister. She loves these like earth tones. So these are my sister's earth tone uh, baubles. They also remind me of string lights. You know, the baubles that had the string wound around them because I did that scr uh, scratchy thing. Then Australian flowers. These were more wattle, but I didn't look at a picture of wattle when I drew them. So I don't know what they are really. Ribbons, obviously love ribbons. 
This, if you look really closely, uh, has an accidental Mount Fuji with that red sun and that triangle mountain. So this is my Japanese one. Barbie Tartan. Obviously the candy cane. Grinch Bling. <laughs> cookie cutter. <laughs> Christmas cookie cutter, which was really funny because my favorite line in Cat's Eye, I don't know if you know that I'm really a big Cat's Eye fan now, uh, Megan, this one with the orange hair. Megan sings, I don't need no cookie cutter, perfect ordinary, and she just really emphasizes the cookie cutter. And so I've been thinking of cookie cutter the whole time, and I made this template and then did these. What I love about them is they're all hand-drawn, so they just have that, like, they already feel very personal to me. They took me forever, um, but they are wonky. They're off. The color is, you know, all very interesting color palettes. They are meant to be in the background. Nothing is so precious that you can't feel like you can cover it up and put your photos on it, put your notepads on it, your sticky notes, uh, you know, put your ephemera on top of it, put an envelope on top of it. Like, it's a big pattern. When you really think about it, like, this is the size of the sheet in the book, like in the, in the journal, this will be the size of the sheet. So if I wanted to put a whole bunch of photos on there, like I do have here, just, I have a few different photos. Like I want to put a photo up here. I can put that there. If I want to put a couple of photos down here, I can put it over here, maybe a bigger piece over here. You still get the whole image in the background kind of peeking through, but there's plenty of space to be able to work with. So um, this is not an ad for a deco journal, but I do just want to let you know uh, that if you want to get some of these sheets bigger, just go into the file and enlarge them as well. I'm not quite sure how big these ones will enlarge, but um, you could, you can go for it. I'm sure that at least get to half size US letter. But yeah, I'm currently working on putting that together. So for now, those are just Collage Club special pieces. And those are the five sheets We've got that mix between Halloween and Christmas. We're right in the middle of it. And I hope you have a lovely time with all of these. I think these are, if you print them out full size, this is not helpful for Australians because you use you, uh, A4. Yeah, these are about two by three inch, I feel, on the smallest end. And then these are three and a half inch by three inch-ish. And these are almost, yeah, seven by five and a half. So some good real estate there to still use them as backing uh, for your journals. And then we've got our beautiful imagery here, all colored in, very colorful month. Uh, that is everything for Collage Club. I hope to see you over there and uh, using all of your goodies. Obviously, I'll be putting a lot of Christmas into December since uh, that's what I celebrate. And I'm going to try and work on that advent. I have had that note there. Remember I said, remind me of that advent when December rolls around. I've had that note over there for as long as I've said that. For like months now, I think. Was it months? I think it was September when I, I wrote that. So I'm going to try and work on that. I'm really excited because I'm getting back into rehearsals on Monday. And that is just going to be super exciting to be singing and dancing Christmas again. Love it. And that's it. That's all I have to share with you today. I'll leave links to things in the description box below, including this transparency paper. I can't recommend it, because honestly, I don't know how it's gonna work yet. It does, that doesn't feel as sticky there. Maybe it's just the ink drying or something. Yeah, that one feels stickier. <laughs> um, but I'll leave it there just in case you wanna have a look too. And my new printer, don't feel obliged to buy anything from any link that I share. They're just affiliate links, uh, but just to show you what I'm using. You can probably always go and find it cheaper somewhere else, but I just want to make sure that you know. And then I'll see you around, hopefully, for some videos here on YouTube. Now that the Hello Workshop's done, I really feel like I'm only going to see you once a week, or I hope you enjoyed the extra videos through October as well. I know that the extra mile wasn't doing very well, so I felt like people wanted to see something else. So I hope you enjoyed the other videos that I put out, um, but I also We'll be working on Merry Mixed Media. We do that every year. I'm very excited about that too. I want my deco journal for that. So I really need to hurry along and do it so I can order it. I'm making it hardcover as well. I probably have a softcover version because hardcover is expensive, but I want the hardcover. And then what else? I think that's it. That's all I can remember. But I will see you around surely 
very soon because I've got to flip my Hello Workshop journal as well. I'll put this up today. Um, we'll see when I can flip that journal for you. And yeah, let's get right into Christmas or the holidays, whatever you celebrate. I celebrate Christmas, so I go real nuts for Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. I've already watched my first Christmas movie. <laughs> so excited. Let me get all the Christmas stuff up too. Uh, yeah, see you around. Have fun. Bye.